everybody, it's the Stupid Mario Brothers! The Super Mario Brothers movie is one of 2023's most fun films out to date, and when I saw it for the first time, I thought to myself, man, I couldn't get enough of this movie. But what if I tried to? This is where I came up with the ludicrous idea to see if I can go watch the Super Mario Brothers movie six times in a row at the same movie theater in one day. You heard that right. Okay, so here's the plan. I am going to break the world record for the most times a person has seen the same movie in a movie theater in one day. Or at least I might. I don't know. Maybe I'll tie it or maybe the world record is a crazy amount more than six. Regardless, here's the plan. I have the AMC Stubbs A-list pass because I have an AMC near me, which allows you three free movies per week. Boom! I don't have to pay a cent for three of my movies. That's half of them. The other three movies, AMC does this thing where before four o'clock, they cut off their movie prices by 30%. So boom, $10 for the other three movies. We are vibing. Now, it is time to buy the tickets. Here's the new plan, ladies and gents. 10.45 a.m., 12.45 p.m., 2.45 p.m. These are the ones that I would be paying for because they're, 30, they're all 30% off. Then, from the 2.45, I will see the 5 p.m. 3D one, then the 7 p.m. regular one, and finish it off with the 9 p.m. regular one. So let's go ahead and buy our tickets. And purchase. For zero dollars and zero cents. Love that. Just how we like it. Just how we like it. My sixth movie in one day adventure finally arrived and man, I was actually kind of looking forward to this. I didn't really know what to expect except the fact that I would be stuck in a movie theater watching the Mario Bros movie plenty of times. All right, so it wouldn't be a G-Wall Pro video without, you know, me running a little bit late to this movie. So we're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna hop on there. I think we're missing a few trailers, but hey, energy's feeling pretty good for this first one. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Once I got into the movie theaters though, I decided to add an extra challenge for myself and that would be to limit my movie concession spending to $50 in one day. Six movies for 50 bucks, that's gonna be crazy. I've decided if I go past $50 in spending for today's like concessions for snacks, then the next movie I see, you know, today, I'm gonna have to be in the very, very front row. That is the plan. So hopefully I don't go over $50 in spending. That should be fine because I will be getting large, I'll get a large popcorn, but then I get free refills with my AMC pass. So we're chilling on that. There's nothing really to eat for breakfast here. So I think we're just gonna go in cold to this uh, to this first movie. Going with high energy, see how this goes. I ended up going in with plenty of spirits and sat myself on the middle right side of the movie theater in a relatively large theater, where shockingly enough, there were quite a lot of families with their kids there. This first movie is packed. Is First movie's gonna start. I will see you on the other side. I didn't really want to go into this movie looking for anything new. I just kind of wanted to enjoy this movie just as much as I enjoyed it the first time I saw it on opening night. And shockingly enough, I definitely did enjoy it. It was a fun movie, I gotta admit. Like, I liked it just as much the second time as I did the first time. I'm still feeling good. Like, I don't think it's hit me yet that I'm seeing this movie five more times. Beautifully fun, action-packed movies, got the whole theater laughing. This was a crowded theater, 10.45 a.m. on a Saturday. Never would have expected it to be so crowded. Well, I got um, 15 minutes till the next movie. Maybe 10 to 15 minutes, so uh, I might buy snacks, but we'll see what happens. So let's move on to the second movie, which started at 12.45, only about 10 to 15 minutes after I got out of the first one. And I didn't even stay through the whole credits to wait for the Yoshi post credit scene. If I did, I probably would have had like one to two minutes to get to the next movie. For this one in particular, I decided to change things up and actually get myself some food, a large popcorn and a large drink, because I can get free refills on both of them. So far we spent 17.42 popcorn and drink. Nothing too crazy. I consider getting like a lunch because this is the 12.45 showing but I just wanted to get the popcorn and drink out of the way because I could get re free refills on both, which is clutch. I wonder what your drink of choice is. Mine is always Powerade, zero sugar, all the time when it comes to these theaters. Let me know what you types of drinks you get. First one was a fantastic showing, loved it, just as much as I did the first time. Let's see how the second viewing goes. As soon as I entered this theater though, I realized that this one was gonna be a slightly tougher watch because it was in a smaller theater and man, I was like four rows from the front of the screen. So even though the screen was smaller, I still had to look up quite a bit and I'm not a fan of looking up at the movie theater screen in the front row. All right, y'all, second movie's about to start. I've got 
food with me and I'm a little bit closer to the screen now so let's see how this changes the experience. So the second movie goes by and I actually kind of enjoy it almost just as much as the first time I saw the movie just about an hour and a half ago. I still kind of expected this as I didn't really expect to start hating the movie until about like the third, fourth or fifth time I would see it. So this one was just about fine that I enjoyed it. However, man, I was going through some physical pain. I had to use the bathroom, but I didn't want to leave because if I left, then the next movie I would have to see in the front row, just like with the whole spending $50 thing. I, I'm making it a thing where I'm not trying to leave the movie at any time until the credits roll. So I waited till that. The Mario movies got it nailed to a T cause like the first two times I've seen it, everyone's laughed at pretty much the exact same spots. They've laughed at when Luigi would step on the dog bone. They laughed at some of the jokes that were made. They would laugh at the Luma Lee talking about death and you know, mercy and all that, which was hilarious. Uh, so all the moments where there were supposed to be laughter, everyone's laughed at the exact moment so far. So I'm curious if the next four times, <laughs> four times, I'll give it four more times. Okay, so now it's time for the third movie, and this is where things started to get interesting. I was getting concerned that I would start not liking the movie anymore. I definitely did not want to have my popcorn and drink anymore because of how badly it made me feel when I was watching it for the second time at the 1245 showing, and this would be the third time in a row I would be watching it on my own in regular old 2D. The only thing that was changing for me was my seats. We were going to see if this one was any different and would provide any better of an experience. In my opinion, I just like to be further in the back and a little bit to one of the sides. I honestly don't remember where my seat is in this next one, but it will be interesting to see. I think I might be all the way on the right. I know I picked all the way on the right for one of them and all the way on the left for another one, but I honestly don't remember which movie was which. Guys, I am in the very back right corner. I got this is a great, great show. I'm so excited. Let's get it. They had a nice row behind the seats that I could get up and walk around in just a little bit. So I decided to, you know, do some stretches. The book says we can't reject our destiny. And you know, I started to notice a pattern before the movies even started. I realized that the trailers that were showing before the Mario movie were in the exact same, in the exact same order that they were showing the first two times. Here's the list of the trailers that popped up in the exact order and yeah, I was, you know, one in one, I was like, wow, I know exactly what's coming. But two, I was like, wow, I know exactly what's coming. So I know how long I have before the movie starts. I can walk around. I can maybe get outside and get some fresh air. I didn't do any of that, but at least I knew how long I had until the movie started. So I didn't have to think to myself, man, when are these trailers going to end? Because I knew exactly when they were going to end. Third one was which is fun. I was in the very, very back and I was just vibing. I got a little bit tired. So I think what I'm gonna do just in between, just take a walk outside. Uh, I got some fresh air before the second half, if you wanna call it. The next movie is the 3D movie. So let's see how that goes. So I don't know if past me was able to display it to you, but in my opinion, that was probably the best experience of the movies that I've had so far, where I was just in the back seat all the way to the right. And I was just chilling that I had a table in front of me. So I didn't have to worry about the popcorn or the drink. They could just sit there instead of for not on my lap. I had the recliner and I was just in the far back because I was able to see the whole screen from the right side. I had plenty of room and it was just a great time. I love being in the back for some reason. It's a lot of fun. However, I nearly fell asleep. Like I was so bored and I was like, man, I know what's happening in this movie. Not that I don't like the Mario movie. I love the Mario movie, but I was starting to not pay attention at certain points because I knew what was coming. So I didn't have to stay as engaged for this one. And because of that, I nearly fell asleep. Let's, let's just get a breath of fresh air. Just enjoy the sun. I got a little bit more time now, like 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll uh, see what's up. Hey, would you look who it is? Back, back at it. Decided we're going to see the Mario Brothers with him at seven o'clock, but we're seeing Renfield right now. <laughs> right now you're seeing yep. it? Hey, Mar <laughs> oh boy. I was over the halfway point and on the fourth movie, and this one was the most anticipated one in my opinion. It was the 3D version of the Super Mario Brothers movie. I was excited for it. Movie four in 3D. This is gonna be a brand new experience. I'm looking forward to seeing 
if this movie even works in 3D. The last movie I saw in 3D was Avatar Way of Water. And before that, I haven't seen a movie in like 10 years in 3D. So Avatar was phenomenal in 3D. I don't know if this one will be good in 3D, but I'm curious to see what elements they make 3D. So let's go in and just have a good time with it. And of course, it was at this point where I needed to come up with a plan for food because I didn't realize that it was already five o'clock. Well, I did, but I didn't. I didn't realize how late it was and that my diet only consisted of popcorn and Powerade up until that point. So not really healthy. But I was like, man, I got to come up with something for food. But nope, I did not do that for this fourth movie. I decided to hold it off for the fifth movie. But this is what I was thinking. For movie number five, I will be probably getting like a dinner type of thing. I'm thinking about a burger, but we'll see if that changes by the time movie number five is ready to start. And then after that, then I will spend the rest of the money of the 50 buck allowance. Theater six, movie six, that's the late night movie with some dessert. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get yet. The pretzel bites look phenomenal, but maybe I'll just get some candy too, something, who knows. Uh, that might be the plan for now. Could always change going in, but you know, gotta find a smart way to uh, shift up those, uh, the remaining money, but yeah. So you could just vibe again with a popcorn and drink. I might actually have some this time. The past movie I did not, but this upcoming movie, I probably will. Once I got into the theater, man, it was a small theater yet again. And I was up in the relatively front row. The only difference is that I was on the right side as opposed to the left side for this 3D movie. I was still looking up. So we'll see if the 3D actually worked well for this one. In case you couldn't tell, the 3D did not work whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know what the problem was. I mean, I guess I think that's just how it is in general with animated movies or movies that aren't designed for 3D, but wow, that movie was so ineffective in 3D. I could have taken off the glasses and there would have been absolutely no difference. I kept looking back at the projector just to make sure that they were actually projecting two mirrored images onto the screen. I was so confused. There was little to no 3D movement. There was a little bit but not effective whatsoever. Oh my goodness, thank God I got that movie for free because yikes, that was not worth it. It would not have been worth $20. So now we've made it to movie number five, and honestly, the fact that I do not feel a craving for death like the blue Lumily in the movie does at this point in time is honestly a miracle. There's no escape. Except for this one part where I decided to go up and order a burger only to hear that the kitchen was so full and backed up that I could not order one. So for the fourth movie in a row, I would be rocking just popcorn and a Powerade. Yippee ki yay. Let's see how this goes, main objective. So try not to fall asleep, but I'll try and notice some other things. Also, the trailers have been the exact same going through. One way that will keep me from falling asleep is that I'm going to have my friend T-Main assist me and actually show up and watch the movie with me. It'll be his second viewing of the movie, my like fifth or sixth. I don't even know. I've lost count at this point. But the fact that he's going to be there right next to me watching the movie, that's going to keep me awake. So we'll be vibing. Of course, it was at this time where I brought up to him that the trailers were shown in the exact order all five times with the exception of the 3D one in the first half of the trailers, but we don't count that. Every other showing I've seen, the trailers were shown in the exact same order. So when he had to go down to get a drink, he asked if he had enough time and I said, yeah, bro, I know exactly what movies are coming up in terms of trailers. And then the movie's going to start. You got plenty of time. I've got my roommates watching with me, so I got team a for this first one. Are you excited for your second view of the Mario movie? I'm so Let's go. This is, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be great. He, he, he's gonna make sure I don't fall asleep during this one. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you guys on the other side. I finished the movie and I'm here with my man T Main. T Main, you did you enjoy the movie again the second time? I did. Very rewatchable. Great. It was awesome. I was really reminded how phenomenal the animation was and the score is brilliant. I was gonna say like for the amount of times I've seen it so far. The, the if there was a movie to watch multiple times in one day, this was the one. Yeah, right? yeah, it's fine. It's I can go see it again right now, but I'm, I'm not going. <laughs> no, definitely. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll do that for you. <laughs> all right, all right. One <laughs> more. How, how do one. you feel? Five down, one to go. Honestly, it, it it feels like a blur. Like yeah. I feel like I'm only on like two or three. Like it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like one more to go. Getting some food for this last one. And uh, me and my other roommate escape in here. So, yeah. Right. Appreciate you joining me for this one. Tag out. All right, so it is time for the sixth movie. So what happens? The first thing I do is immediately order all of the food that I need in my system for survival in this sixth movie. What do I order? I order a burger. I order some soft pretzels. I order some fries and I get a piece of candy. So your boy is vibing right now. And I calculated the prices and made sure that they stays under $50. Mm. 
is about that. We were 24 cents over 24 cents over $50. Don't worry about it. I'm here we're for here. the last showing. The last showing I've got with my boy. Oh, oh, I am spilling my drink, but it's totally fine. Uh, I don't know what theater and you remember what theater we're in? Oh boy. We're you know, it's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. And one thing I can confirm after watching the movie six times is that yes, for five of the six ones, the exception being the 3D one, the trailers were the exact same and shown in the exact same order and my mind was blown. I will forever have a new perspective on movie theaters, but I also decided going into this movie theater that I didn't even want to look at anything critically anymore. I just wanted to enjoy this last one, relax, and just realize that this is the final time I will have to see the Super Mario Bros. movie that day. But they showed the exact same trailer in the exact same order. Literally, you let me know. Oh, what, six, seven trailers? And a nine. Exactly. That's a lot to see the exact same stuff. Finally got dinner. Finally got dinner. Burger. Burger pretzels. You hit fifty dollars on the dock. So let's go. Weirdly enough, I never got sick of the movie. I don't know what it is. I think I just love Mario so much. I think I just went into the movie with you know the right amount of enjoyment and emotion and the right idea that I wasn't seeing a cinematic masterpiece, I was just seeing a fun, party-filled Super Mario Brothers movie. A 90-minute gaming cutscene, uh, whatever you want to refer to it. I just never got sick of it, and I think that is the perfect movie to re-watch over and over again in the same day. If you were going to do that, I would highly recommend it, watching the Mario, not six times, but like two, maybe three times, I would definitely watch the Mario movie. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally happening. I am walking out of the movie theater. I've seen the Mario movie six whole times. Six times. Completed. Feels like a complete blur. Whole day. This man. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy I it? enjoyed it just as much the second time as I did the first time. That's what I said. This man. This man right here. Let's applaud him. Do I get a medal? <laughs> you get a medal of honor because you've been at the movie theater since 1045. Uh huh. It is now 10:45 at night. 10:45 at night. Mm -hmm. 12 Spend hours. A full 12 hours in this movie theater. What a, what a time! Honestly, I could I could watch it again if I wanted to. That's again? How, that's how crazy it is. Right. I'm not sick of it. Weirdest thing. I don't think I will ever do anything this crazy, at least related to a movie theater ever again. I guess never say never, but man, hopefully I never have to go through anything like this again. I guess that just goes to show you, man, the Mario movie is really, really good. And if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend checking it out, especially before it leaves the movie theaters. So what did I learn from this movie? What did I learn from this experience? There's plenty of things to take away, but I think the major key takeaway is that time, just like hope, is an illusion. And that the only hope is the sweet relief of death. Oh my goodness. What a mess. Wow, it is everywhere. That's not the type of thing that you can do a second take for, buddy. Nope, we're good. We are good. Let's uh, call that a it. take.